Hey everyone, I wanted to do a tutorial on how to create an ebook after I had shared my clean eating ebook um, with some friends and then with um, a lot of the coaches, they were asking me how I made my ebook. So I'm just going to share how I did that in canva.com or on canva.com just so um, we can kind of go through that. And um, then if you have any questions, you can just let me know. Um, so this is one of the ebooks I created. I can show you how to do this. Um, there were some tricks and little snags in Canva, so I want to share that just so if you run into that, you're not um, you know, terrified or anything because I had some problems saving it at the last minute. So I had that ebook and then I also had the recipe ebook. So my recipe ebook had more graphics on it. I wanted it to be, really be eye catching. Um, so you can see that once I got to some of the five day recipes, that I added in some graphics here. So I'm gonna exit out of here and go to Canva. So once you're in Canva, what you'll want to do is scroll over here and click on A4. You wanna use that size document because it's the best for viewing, especially if people have um, iBook, they can share or they can save your eBook uh, to their iBook. And so this makes it easily accessible to them and they also are very easy, um, it's easier to read. So once you go into this, what you're going to see, uh, these are some layouts over here. When you click on this, you're going to see that there's grids behind here. That means that this picture of um, this animal here, <laughs> I think it's a tiger. It's like a white tiger. Um, if you see this, these grids, that means that, that that is not free. So same thing with this. That means this is not free. But what you can do is just keep scrolling, and you'll see some that are free. So this is one, for example, that's free and not necessarily one you'd want to use for Beachbody. But say you're doing um, a clean eating challenge. That one's not free. But um, okay, this would be a good one for a free challenge. Um, and you can click on here and click filter, and that's why it's kind of dark. They've These are pre-made. Uh, by graphic designers. That's one reason I would say to use the layouts because they already um, have, you know, the, the design is eye-catching because someone else has made it. Um, but you can change it back to normal if you want it to look like this. And then you just go in here and you change this. Or if you don't like that, you can just delete it. So let's say this is the ebook that I wanted to use. And um, let me click this. And you can tell that it's kind of blurry. And the reason that they did that, you know, they made it a little blurry here, is that the words that you put over the top of it will stand out. Um, so you can make that more blurry so then things stand out a little bit more, but you can still kind of tell what it is, that it is a food. This would be a good one for um, a free clean eating challenge. And, of course, these. Now, I, you'll see that I actually paid for these. These are a dollar a piece. And people might think I'm crazy for paying for them. But... I honestly, um, I think it was seven dollars to make my entire, both of my eBooks, um, with these graphics. Everything else in Canva is completely free, so I felt completely okay with all the information and awesomeness that Canva gave me. I was okay paying seven dollars for the cool graphics. Um, and another reason for that is because in one of my previous videos, I talked about just going to Google and find. Oh, that's so. I'm so like automatically clicking Facebook. That's ridiculous. Um, but going into Google and then just searching for like I could just go search oatmeal, and I could probably get a good, pretty good picture. But my problem with that is you never know where your ebook is going to get shared. Whoever you share this with in some of your free challenges or something, you never know if they're going to share it with someone else. It might be the wrong person, and then for whatever reason, someone hunts you down because you stole their picture. I just don't want to deal with that. I know um, another Beachbody coach was talking about that here recently, how they were kind of tracked down for an image that they had used on their website, and so it's just not worth it, in my opinion. So anyway, let's say um, you want to pay for this one because you're doing a um, running challenge or whatever you're doing. Um, let me try to find one that's free so it makes it a little easier. This one's perfect for clean eating. So let's say I want to do this one. It's already pre-made. Um, like I said, if you don't want it to be pre-made, you can go through here. Tons of background. You can just type in food and you're going to find a million different things. Now again, these are not. some of them are not free. Same thing with these applications here. We'll get into that here in a second. So let's say I want this to be um, my cover.
And let me type this in here. Okay, so we've got that. And I want to change the background. You're just going to go in here and let's say I want it to be like a more inviting uh, blue color. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so, okay, we've got a clean eating challenge going on. All right, so I've got this and you can move everything around. You can move these forks and knives if you want to. And it's already pre-made. I mean, that's pretty awesome. So let's say now you want to add on a page and you're interested in making like an about me section with which I highly recommend if you're doing an ebook have an about me section so people can find you learn more about you again you never know who this might be shared with and even though you think it's being shared with people who are already your free customers you never know if they share it with a friend and they get an email um, with it because they've shared it even though if you ask them not to uh, and they want to find out how to contact you so you want to have your information in here so actually what I'll do is just, if you want to duplicate the page, you just click here. and It'll make the exact same page. But um, what I want to do is just add a new page. And let's say I want the background to be white. And then what you can do here is, um, we'll just delete this. Um, you can go in here and say you want your wording to stand out more. You can just go to shapes. And basically, you can just outline your wording. And this is what I did in my ebook. So just feel free to do however you want. Um, I, I liked, liked this little layout here, and I thought it was awesome. So, um, and then I'll just change the colors. Yeah, I like that. So I've got that. And then let's say I want to add a picture of myself. So I'm going to go to grids. And you can pick any of these pictures, or you can just click on, um, there's frames here. And you can pick one of these. So um, you saw that I had a picture there. I had actually went into Canva, or uh, pickmonkey.com, and I would actually just deleted the background on uh, my pictures. So then that way it was easy for me to upload into here and then drag. Same thing with my logo. Um, so I could just drag that in here and have this, you know, on the bottom of every page if I wanted to have my logo um, somewhere. It looks really small, but we're actually, if you look down here, we're only at 47%, so that's why it looks small. So let's say that that's my, I want to keep my logo down there, and then on this page, I want to kind of introduce myself, and there we go. Um, and then you can also do text boxes, so you can go up here. Again, there's a million things you can do with Canva. Um, I just love it. So text holders, and you can just delete some of this if you want. Um, but anyway, you can do like an about me in the little text box and have it up here in the corner, however you want to do it. So then let's say you put some information in here about yourself. Um, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to put your logo in here, Click here and then go to the drop down box and link it. You want to link it to your website. That way, people, once they're in on your ebook, for example, let me show you my other one. So, when they're in, on my ebook, they know that at the bottom of the page, they're going to be able to just click right here and it's going to take them directly to my website. Um, and I didn't make it as obvious on that ebook, but my future ones, I'm going to. Same thing with purchasing. So I'm actually in the middle of creating a, a, an ebook right now, and it's going to be just a general ebook about you know eating well and exercising. And then there's going to be a place to purchase or go to challenge packs. The way that you can do that, let's say that this is a challenge, or I want this to be like make me your coach page. Say you're going to just send this to prospects, and it's going to have information, or you're not going to use it for a clean, uh, free clean eating group. You can go in here. Pick out one of these buttons. I'm just going to pick this one. And you can just change this to make me your coach. Now this is going to look small on here, but you can do that however you want. But you can also pick any type of picture. So let's say I want people to be able to find me on Facebook. So I want people to always be able to have contact with me on Facebook. All I'm going to do, link it here. 
put my Facebook U URL there. And then if I decide, you know, hey, I like this layout for every single page. I want my Facebook link to be at the bottom of every page. I want, or maybe I don't want that. I want this to be at the bottom of every page. All I'm going to do is duplicate that page. And then I'll just delete the stuff that I don't want, add the text. Something else that's really awesome uh, that I want to give you a shortcut about that I wish I would have figured out sooner when I was doing this was change your defaults. So go ahead and if you want that your title text to be something, um, let's say I want it to be this for every single one, and I want it to be 42, and I want it to be black. And then I want my subtitle, we'll just leave it that, and I want that to be black. And then my um, body text. I think 12 and 14 is a good size. Anything other than that looks kind of funky, um, but that's, that's good. So now whenever, oh, I didn't want to do that. Change defaults. I want to make sure this is black. And so now whenever I go to do this, I don't have to click on and change all that. So I want to just add title. Here we go. Add body text. Here we go. So I've got some information. And then another key thing here is if you want numbers, go ahead and put it here so it's easy to navigate for yourself. And you don't have to go back and do that later. So let's say I want every page to be like that, that type of layout. And then I'll add stuff here and there. You saw where I put some apps in there, um, talking about food apps. Go to technology. And when you click on technology, you're going to see an iPhone. You could use a computer. Um, say you made a video. You want, it to, you want to link someone to your YouTube video. So let's say I'm sending this to um, some prospects. You can't really see this very well, so I'm going to try to put something behind it. Um, Let's say I'm sending a video, oh, let's use this one, to uh, my new customers or, you know, if I want to include a free workout in my five-day free clean eating challenge, I can say, go to my YouTube channel for uh, workouts. And then I can upload a picture, a snap, a screenshot of my, um, my own pictures that I've uploaded. And then that way, it's really personable, and then they can just click here from their phone or from, um, from their computer. So I would pick a picture, you know, of me working out. So I'd go here and say, um, you know, click here. You can double tap in here and move this picture around, by the way. And you can also change the filter. So let's say I want it to be black and white. There you go. And you can link. And I'm just going to put YouTube because I don't know what my, and you want this to pop up if that, you have to push enter for that to pop up. And that's how they know they can go um, to my YouTube channel uh, to see my videos or free workouts or anything. So cool stuff. And then again, let me show you here. There's so much you can do, do with this. It's unbelievable. If you want to show someone a cool app to use, you'll do the same thing. So you're going to have it over here. And then you can just make a screenshot of that app, um, or you can just uh, put your own picture in there if you want. You could pretty much do anything. Here's an app that I was sharing, so there you go, voila. So lots of cool things that you can do with Canva, and then you can also link it to the, the app if you want. Um, you know, you can put, like say you were talking about, um, Autumn Calibrace and the 21 Day Fix. You can link this to the 21 Day Fix or your, to your Team Beach Body account. Anything. The possibilities are endless. So anyway, okay, we've got all that, and now I'm going to show you some tricks when you go to download this because it gets, like I said, it gets a little hairy sometimes. You can do up to 27 pages. So once you get to 27, you can't add any more, but you can if you really want to. Um, if you're doing a lot of recipes, it's very easy to get to 27 day or 27 um, pages. But you're going to click download options, and then instead of trying to download, if you have 27 pages, trying to download it all at once, sometimes there's some errors, especially if you have a lot of links and pictures and graphics. Um, what you'll want to do is go in here and choose pages. So break it in half and do like 1 to 15. And then come back in here and do 16 to 27. So then it breaks up the PDF. 
but you can easily put it back together, don't worry. So then what you'll do is you'll just go to small PDF, once it downloads, smallpdf.com and merge them together. So you can merge both of those PDF files you just broke up to download easily and quickly into here. It's gonna download, you're gonna save it, and then come in here, back in here, and upload that merged file into the compressed file. What that does is it allows you to share it on Facebook very easily and email it very easily. Almost all web browser or um, platforms make you have it under 25 megabytes, I think it is, and usually you're gonna be over that. So this gets it way, way down. So that's a little trick. Um, if you have any issues, contact Canva. They are awesome. Um, you, I actually contacted them at like midnight one night because I told everybody I'd have the meal plan to them and the grocery list, and it wasn't working. And I couldn't figure it out, and I was about to have a flip out. So, you know, I, um, I had to email them and ended up getting taken care of. But anyway, I think that's about it. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, again, I think that that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, but I think this stuff's really cool. My biggest hint would be to link stuff because I think, you know, these, this stuff is going to get shared whether you like it or not. So if somebody's going to get a hold of it, you might as well make a benefit out of it, you know? So, um, take advantage of that. And if you decide to do, you know, more than 27 pages, again, all you'll do is just save this one and start a new one and then you'll go from there. So anyway, um, I hope this helped. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Bye, guys.